How's it going, guys? It's me, the Don't Talk and I'm here to talk about the next episode of Kids Niver, episode 8, because I am super late on the series. I apologize for that. That is most likely due to my laziness and other things going on. And I am making this video now because Kids Niver, episode 10, is pretty good. And I gotta say, a lot of shit has been happening in the series that I've been missing to cover. So let's cover that right now, actually. And. Wow, what do I start with? So I know I'm two weeks late, so everyone probably knows what the hell happened, but episode 8 of Kids Niver, wow. Like, episodes 8, 9, and 10 are just like the stepping stone of just shit going down in this anime so far, like, because, you know, they just trap the kids in the school, they're telling them about the kids in the project, the original one, most likely that um, Noriko and Katsuhiro were both part of because of his flashbacks of him as a kid and whatnot. So yeah. And then it's interesting because in this episode, like, everyone behind the scenes, like Noriko and the teachers, they're just like, oh, we're trying to pair up these two together because, the, like, romantic triangles and nonsense. I'm just like, this person likes this person, and then he, but then this person also likes this person. Or, like, Chidori likes Katsuhira, Katsuhira probably likes Noriko, and then... Tenga likes Chidori, and then Nico likes Tenga. I'm just like, what the frick? Like, this is where is this coming from? I do not know where they are basing this off of. But then at the end of the episode, it sort of it, it, it actually holds up because um, as they separate each other, they sort of just like realize their feelings for him. Except like, you know, I didn't really think about Tenga liking Chidori. That was new to me. I was like, wait, really? He? I thought he just wanted to help her out, but then. I didn't see past that part, and then Nico liking Tango, that was pretty far-fetched, and then Katsuhiro liking Noriko, I don't know about that, but like, let's just say that, you know, Chidori was trying to confess her feelings for Katsuhiro, but then apparently he has another Kizno mark that leads him, uh, connects him to uh, Noriko, and Noriko has one on her freaking neck, and I was like, ah, oh, that must hurt, but yeah, like, so much weird stuff has been going on. And, you know, this series is going for 12 episodes, so we're, we're progressing really thoroughly right now because, you know, the their kids in the experience only lasts throughout the summer, and, like, this is just, like, the, the, the starting point and, like, you know, the bottom start of everything because now, like, you have these things where the teachers are, like, trying to drastically, like, further the experiment with everyone, like, and their emotional relationships and whatnot. Except in the end, when Chidori tries to tell her feelings about Katsuhira, he runs off and goes to see Noriko, and then there's just like, it was pretty cool! Cause like, you know, you can tell it's like, oh, like, my mark is telling me she's here, and then she, he saves her and pushes her out of the way from freaking getting hit from a statue, so it's like, okay, that was a plus one. But then she reveals her kids nothing, and then now it's just like, what? Basically, but you know, episodes 9 and 10 are, is it 9? Yeah, it's 8 right now. I'm, I'm really dumb. So 9 and 10, <laughs> like, 9 was pretty good and emotional at the end. Episode 10, even more better at the end because, oh my god, so much shit has happened. But, you know, when I time that I watched this, I was like, oh man, shit is going down because Noriko herself came to see them to make sure that this experiment succeeds or further progresses and whatnot. But then I don't know if, like, the end result in episode 9 and 10 would be considered a success. So anyways, guys, that's about it for this review reaction thing because I already know what happens in episode 9 and 10. I'm just gonna go catch up and continue on with the series because I really, really, I love this series so much. It's almost it's up there to my thing. Except I've just been really lazy on covering the episodes and other things have been going on. I've been doing other things in my personal life that I have to attend to and um, yeah that's about it so for one you can ensure that I will be continuing the series and I will see the end of Kids Niver and I need to get a better chair because I'm not on my usual chair anymore I'm on my freaking stool so anyways guys I'll see you guys on the next video on the Domotaku anime channel if you guys liked Kids Niver especially episode 9 and 10 then like this video and subscribe because when episodes 9 and 10 11 and 12 come up you bet I'll be covering the end of this series because Kiss Never is pretty good. It's up there with 3 0 and whatnot. So, anyways, guys, I'll see you guys on the next video on the Don't Talk to Anime channel. So, take care and I'll see you guys then. And Matane. And I totally just, I don't know what the frick I was saying. Anyways, guys, I'll see you guys later. So, take care and Matane.